all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and we are back in the 5.7 beta apk test server whatever you guys want to call it man and this time we're going to be taking a first look at the blue dragon i wish i had a little bit more time on the apk this time around but unfortunately no dice all right some things happened we got it late it's all good though i want to give you guys my first impressions on the character overall because i think she's actually going to be really good the thing is though i'm not sure if really good is going to be enough for a lot of you guys who are free to play to spend crystals to rank her up and tier two her because in case you didn't know she's just like emma frost Iceman and Sabretooth. Okay, she's a crystal character where you actually have to purchase her, then purchase her biometrics repeatedly if you want to rank up the character. I'll show you guys the package here really quickly. So we go to the shop and you'll see right here, right? You have to purchase her for crystals. Now, the thing is, if you've been playing and you actually pre registered before the 5.7 update goes live, don't worry, you will get 10 biometrics for the character, which means you'll be able to unlock her for free. Then ultimately, it's going to be up to you what you want to do from there. Are you going to drop a six star mega rank up ticket on the character? Get her to six stars, then use a mega tier two ticket on her to get her up to tier two and avoid spending any additional crystals to work on the character. It's a pretty expensive route to take, but it's going to be expensive either way. It's either you use rank up tickets mega tier 2 ticket or you spend crystals and you just keep buying her packages over and over and over again to get the bios you need or get her to tier 2 so before you do that though hear me out just sit back let the star agents test her out when the game goes live so we can give you guys some in-game feedback with the final product before you make a decision there's no rush okay but for today i'm gonna take her into some content so you guys have an idea of how she plays i think she is really fun and she has some good things in her kit starting with her leadership she's the leader of the warriors of the sky so she got one of the best leaderships we've ever seen in the game perfect mix of offense and defense at the exact same time right it could be used in pvp if you don't mind the fact that you can be debuffed i would say like 80 or 90 percent of the time but it's a really, really good leadership. So you could use this and just make it so you can one shot your enemy and don't worry about having to be debuffed. I might actually use her in some PVP gameplay, right? When the game goes live. But for now, keep in mind, everything you see here is subject to change when the game actually goes live in a couple hours after this video, right? She has some lightning resistance down in her kit, which is really good. And it's actually really interesting to see a lightning based character, completely lightning based character doing freeze, right? Freezing characters, crazy, right? The only thing that I think is kind of weird about her is the fact that basically all of her skills, yeah, you need to let them play out. So, you know, we have been in this whole mindset of like skill canceling for so long. So when we get a character like Blue Dragon that requires you to let all your skills play out, it overall lowers the amount of damage that you can put out with a character. But I don't know if it's a bad thing per se. Like for her, right, if you want to get the defense down from the skill, you cannot immediately cancel it. You have to actually get through at least half of the skill. And then when you cancel it, you don't get the additional damage that you would get if you let it play out fully. However, it may actually be best to cancel this thing after you get the defense down if your proc hasn't triggered so you can go into the fourth skill because that's going to give you a big attack buff, some crit rate, and then you can take advantage of the defense down that has been applied to the boss because it will apply in World Boss Ultimate. So something like 5-4 would be really good for an opening rotation or something like two and then immediately canceling as soon as the first slash hits the boss and then going right into four i think four is going to be where you get the most of your damage and it's really good that it offers you can see right here on our tier two passive super armor this is very important to make sure that you don't get guard broken and the fifth skill another good reason why you want to open with this is because there's certain skills in the game that even having super armor will not protect you from being guard broken like those purple attacks in war boss ultimate they will still guard break you if 
you do not have immunity to guard break and invincibility actually gives you immunity to guard break so yeah it's really cool the kit that she has here but i don't know if it's gonna be enough for most people to go out of their way and reach into their wallet to build her up but i think she's pretty sweet so we're gonna test her out a little bit here folks and you guys can give me some feedback in the comment section right i'm not saying she's gonna be blowing everybody out of the water right but i think she's actually a pretty solid character so yeah it's gonna be interesting to say the least let's jump in here against call of city and we're gonna use her with let's use her with sunbird and then we'll use her with one support so we'll go something like shuri would be nice or maybe even wave oh that's cool she has a team up with wave heroes of the sea that's cool that's cool i wonder who has the team up is it ah yeah they make sense because okay he's a pirate okay that's dope all right <laughs> let's let's actually go back to uh, blue dragon where you girl and okay blaster all right let's roll all right so we're gonna go five and cancel right there there we go let's go use it two go right back into five when you see that dragon slams down into the ground, that's when you know you can cancel. Let's use the warrior skill. My next rotation, I'm gonna have to skip the five. Oh, actually. I wish you could like control her when she was using the force skill like you could just like move around the boss while you're whipping them all right so we're gonna have to move this might be a little bit too high for her See, because this guy has the uh, cleanse or the purifying wind, we don't get to see her lightning resistance in action. And also because he has really high elemental defenses, kind of sucks. But we'll try her against um, Ebony as well. Her leadership is so clutch because she's constant, even though he's removing her lightning resistance down she's removing his bleed <laughs> so they're like both countering each other and that's really really dope uh, it's really it really sucks that's to see um the bleed immunity honestly future fight team 2020 y'all need to do something about bleed and make bleed a relevant part of marvel future fight because there's so many characters that you give bleed to and we could praise characters for having bleed if you made bleed something worth mentioning in like any of the game modes that we currently have like even in shadowland where bleed actually applies it's still just garbage unless it's being used against you so it's just kind of silly all right so i'm gonna have to let the uh fifth skill play out fully there let's use the warrior skill and uh, from what i've seen none of these warriors their their skills bro they don't, like the awaken skill doesn't do that much damage for any of them. The coolest part about having Sunbird on your team is knowing that you have an extra life, so you can just <laughs> be so reckless. Okay, let me let me let me back up. Let me back. Okay move there we go ah really the prop triggered early so we're gonna have to ride that all the way up uh, let's summon the warriors like we're looking at that look at look at that look how little damage we did bro it, it really sucks to see all that build up and get next to no damage out of it and it's not just her it's just all of them collectively just 
not doing that much damage with that skill. And I can understand why they may have made it so that they're not doing that much damage with it. Because imagine if these warriors well, being the only ones in the game with that skill. And they come in and that skill is doing like 10 times more damage than every other skill could possibly do in the game. People would be so mad. People already hate the thought of just them being in the game. People already hate their existence, right? So I can kind of see why that skill is so watered down, but ultimately for the cost that's associated with it, nice. Nah, see, like when you can get the defense down or the lightning resistance down to line up perfectly with the fourth skill, man, it's so good. Okay, lightning resistance down there. Ah, and then, wow. Mm, another thing about her is like, you kind of need somebody to crowd control for you when you're using her against Ebony because he's gonna just constantly iframe you while you're whipping. Nice. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Get up. I wish Sunbird could heal you in addition to the revive. Kind of seems broken, but maybe it was like, I don't know, 5% every 20 seconds or something. That would be cool. Now I have to be a little bit more cautious. Oh gosh. Am I just dead? No, I'm, I'm not, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna take some damage there. See, like, man, this skill just looks way too cool to just be. It's like watching a blue eyes white dragon using <laughs> their ultimate attack and just seeing no damage being dealt. Nerd mode gaming, back at it again with the anime references. Ah, uh, got clapped. Ah, uh, we got clapped. It's all good though. I just wanted to show her off a little bit for you guys. Like I said, I don't know if she's actually going to be worth it for you guys because she costs crystals, but I definitely see that she has some value and I will be exploring it when the update goes live. I like the fact that she has the lightning resistance down so you can stack that with regular defense down. So that's gonna be pretty cool. The only thing is it's kind of difficult to like consistently land your damage proc where i want it which for me is on the four skill because one i love this skill like just watching her whip this freaking spear around like it, it's so sick the two skill also looks really really cool it looks like a better version of what odin has right and it has lightning resistance down as well but sometimes the uh fury of the dragon skill just triggers the proc early and that just throws off everything for me. And I noticed that it doesn't do as much damage as this skill for obvious reasons, because this one is giving you the all attack plus the crit rate, right? So I'm gonna have to play around with her a little bit more. Overall, I think she's gonna be an above average character for sure, because of her leadership and everything else she has in her kit. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out for her. I definitely will try her in PvP a little bit, right? Alongside Sunbird, and I'll give Sunbird his own video for sure, for sure, because I see value in him. But stay tuned for more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I will catch you guys in the next one. It's going to be an interesting update, that is for sure. I cannot wait to see how many more surprises the Future Fight team has in store for us, because whenever we get the patch notes, there's generally a few surprises. So stay tuned. Thank you.